Okay, we're here this afternoon with Eric Bartelson, and he's going to explain to us how this ethanol distiller works. Eric, can you tell us a little bit about this? Certainly. Um, we'll talk about the main components of it first. Um, the, big, the big tank here is where we put the um, what, what's called the beer to be processed, and the beer is something that um, that is the result of the fermentation process. So once we have the, the uh, feedstocks, whatever we're using, whether it's sugar beets or corn or just raw sugar, um, once that's been fermented, then we put that in this tank and that'll get us ready to, uh, to distill it. So getting it into the tank, we have, uh, we have a pump underneath here that we can use to load uh, whatever is ready to be processed into this tank and um, then once we've got that loaded um, we can start the system up and start the distillation process. So to get ready for distillation what we'll do is we'll, we'll set a few valves. Um, we turn on the condenser valve and the cooling valve which is actually on the other side. Um, and that keeps the still operating at its operating temperature. So this is the distillation column. Um, it's a reflux uh, still and 4 inch and should produce anywhere, depending on uh, the system and efficiencies, a 4 inch still will produce anywhere from a gallon and a half to maybe up to 4 gallons an hour. Um, this system will produce about 2, maybe 2 and a half gallons an hour. Um, now, once the once the, uh, the ethanol is, is processed through here, the beer gets you know, sent up through here, and the ethanol ends up in this tank. And then the thing that the, the thing that turns the beer into steam so that it can be distilled is the boiler. Um, and so that's all the, the major components of the system. So we have a input tank, and then the boiler, which boils the uh, the beer. Um, and then that steam that's generated from the boiler goes into the still. And then the water is separated out from the ethanol in, inside of the still. And the ethanol ends up in this tank. Um, so let's discuss the, uh, the control system a little bit. This is the panel for the control system. The, the computer that actually controls this is built into the boiler system here. Um, and the primary thing that the control system does is uh, it controls the temperature of the still. The, the temperature of the still is important. Um, it runs uh, anywhere from about 173 to 178 degrees, depending on conditions, uh, one of them being altitude. And, um, we have a temperature probe installed at the top of the still here, and that's where we take that measurement um, and we maintain a temperature at this level using the cooling system in the cooling coil. So what the control system does is it tries to maintain a temperature and then also maintain a steady uh, stream of the beer going into the boiler so that the still can be uh, fed. And then to maintain the temperature, once we know what the temperature is for the temperature probe, um, on this side of the boiler, we have a, um, a proportional valve, is what we call it. And it's a valve that's run by a stepper motor. And we adjust the, the valve opening, either closed, a little bit open, so on, all the way to full open, uh, based on the readings from the temperature probe. So if the temperature is going up, we can open up that valve, put more cooling water into the still, and cool down that temperature. And then if it's, the temperature is too low, we can close that valve and um, reduce the amount of cooling water going to the still. And so that, that's the way we can maintain the temperature within a few degrees. Now that cooling, is that automated? Yes. That's yeah. not a valve that somebody has to open and close no. while it's No, it would be too hard for a person to do that. Um, the temperature, um, there's a lag in the temperature and so on, um, so it's just, it's just too difficult for a person to be able to, to change a manual valve like that. Um, 
it's much easier to do under computer automation because we can track trends in the temperature and then anticipate you know, what, what level of cooling is going to be needed. And that's what we do in the software. Um, let's see. But that's the, that's the basic distillation process. And then um, for this system, we need a source of water input for that cooling process. And that uh, we use the same water input, which is right down here. Just put a garden hose on there, and um, that water is used to feed the, the cooling and condenser coils. So we have a condenser coil here that um, condenses the ethanol out of its steam state into a liquid. And I guess that's about. What am I missing, Calvin? I think you got it. Okay. We're going to put cold water into it, and we're going to put fermented beer into it, yes. and we're going to get ethanol out of it. Right. So you put, basically our inputs are beer, cooling water, and electricity. Well, thank you, Eric. We'll carry on. Thank you very much.